Um, my name is Ejiro Kotie and I'm from Nigeria and I'm on the Yali Fellowship. I'm in the civic leadership track and I attended Arizona State University in the U.S. for the fellowship. In terms of my most the most significant impact of the Mandela Washington Fellowship in my life as an individual and in my organization, I'll speak to it from four perspectives. Um, from the leadership development plan, uh, I also benefited from the speaker travel grant, the mentorship program, and the practicum. So taking it from the leadership development plan, um, most of the objectives that I set out, the leadership development plan actually helped me to put my, um, my activities in perspective in terms of breaking it down into short-term goals and long-term goals and even in the short-term goals having milestones. So one of the things that I had mentioned in my leadership development plan was to be able to reach 1,000 women in 2016. And for the short term, or I would say that the milestone that I was able to achieve with that was that I was able to reach 100 women with economic empowerment and helping them to um, develop entrepreneur entrepreneurship idea and business startup. So that's something that I think that the leadership development plan helped me to achieve that's most significant. And also for the speaker travel grant, I got the opportunity of presenting three papers at the Sixth Africa Forum in Uganda. And with that experience, I helped, the experience helped to build my public speaking, which has greatly improved my work. And I got to participate in the Africa for Her event, most of it that was organized in Nigeria, and also helping to mentor young girls and doing a lot of public speaking with them as well. So, and another very significant um, impact from the speaker travel grant experience as well was the network that I was able to build up from that event, like networking with the Africa Disability Alliance, which helped me to be a part of um, the disability rights monitors in Africa. And through that, I've also been able to train um, about 15 disability rights monitors in Nigeria, which is also a form of empowerment for people with disabilities. In terms of um, the speaker, um, in terms of the um, practicum, the most significant um, impact of the practicum in my professional work was basically applying the, the, the knowledge, one of the, the concepts that I got, which is self-advocacy, is a concept that they use in pushing their youth program, their peer um, youth transition program, and some other projects that they run in the organization. I, I interned with an independent living center in Troy. And, you know, coming back to Nigeria, and putting that self-advocacy practice to use has not only helped me individually in my personal life, I, I, I had to, you know, approach my, the, the religious institution where I worship, I had to approach them at a certain given time to say that um, the information system they use were just basically visual and I am blind. So I talked to them, put, put in to use the self-advocacy concept that they, had, they needed to add audios to to the visuals and then now because of that single singular step of self-advocacy they've been able to add audios to their visual displays of information and I think that would not only benefit me as a visually impaired member in that um, religious institution but also other blind and visually impaired members that will attend the church. Most importantly is the, the skill of um, proposal writing and concept new development, which is something that my mentor, because I also benefited from the mentorship, uh, my mentor is based in Cameroon, and he has also helped a lot with that. And public proposal writing and concept new development is a, one of the key areas that um, the, the director I worked with in, my, in the place of my um, practicum also worked on. With that, uh, since I came, all the proposals that I have written, I've been able to get all the grants that I have written upon my return to Nigeria, and that has helped to expand my organization beyond Lagos State, where the organization is based to another state in Delta State, which was another major objective in my practicum. So in all, I would say that um, from the leadership development plan through to the practicum, to the speaker travel grant and the mentorship, um, I've been able to gain significant expansion and growth professionally as an individual and also organizationally in terms of um, developing my organizational structure and expansion of my organization. Thank you.